So let's go through it now that it's open, and this is pretty much a shortcut back to where we started, where we were with the gears, I think. I think this is a shortcut back to where I was. Oh no, this is an entirely new place, a giant place with a save point that I, that I will use. Hold on. Okay, I believe we came from the south, so let's go north this time. South leads towards the entrance. If I'm not mistaken, it doesn't look like I am. Nice. Putting up the central elevator's lock system. Releasing the central elevator's lock. Done. Central elevator's lock. I don't. I don't like the sound of that. But I think this is the central elevator, and there's a boss fight in the middle of the room for whatever reason. Not boss fight. Regular fight. What am I talking about? And I would say down, yes, but I think, I think there was more information in here. Kind of rushed in and out of here. Yeah, on this other side, right, to unlock Animal Relic. That's kind of important, isn't it? Lock of codes must be inputted into terminals A to D, which are situated around this area. Upon completion, the main system will be engaged. So we, we did A and B already, I believe. Animal Relic lock, lock off code input numbers so the vertical and horizontal sums are equal without reusing the same numbers. Okay, I forget exactly what that what that little game is called, but usually it's like one through nine and you have to put them so that they all add up the same. Okay. Okay, so let's go down. Sweet. All three of us are going down together. I'm I'm good with number games, I don't know. If you guys have probably figured that out with me. I have a very mathematically minded person. <laughs> Please don't give me any more music. Oh my god, music is my downfall. Okay, uh, these are... What's oh, here are computers. What's up, computer? A. Um. Are you guys gonna give me, like, a sum up somewhere? Like any of these on the side work? No. How am I supposed to know the code? Is this still A? No, this is D. Like, how do I do it so that they all add up, right? How do I know if they all add up if you're not going to show me where the where it is? Right, that's A. This is B. That makes you C. But where, where am I supposed to see where the code is? Hold on. So what is this one? This one on the side. Okay, code address, please. All right, so nine, six, seven, three. Oh, okay. Well, I need. What do I need? 1 and 9, 6 and 3, I need 2 and 8 and 5 and 4. Okay. I see it. So 2 and 8 should probably go on A and C, and then 4 and 5 can go on B and D. Okay. I did say 2 and 8, right? And over here would be eight, and then over here would be four, and then over on the other side at C would be five. Did I do it right? Probably not, but let's take a look. I think that's right. Release lock. Animal Relic released. Awesome. We did it! Right in the center of the lift. Surely that alarm sound is, is a good sign for us. That's, a, that's the you just did everything right alarm, apparently. Do we get to shoot down, or is it going to be normal speed again? Normal speed. That's kind of disappointing. Still a fan of the elevators. Just saying. All 
and okay, so we have another big empty room. It looks like. Oh, I was about to say, is it is it a cutscene time? Because you're not letting me do anything. I don't think there's any other way for me to go. These aren't ways, so it's just just through this door here. You gotta always du double check that kind of stuff. Release the locks. Surely this is this does not mean that there's a boss fight at the end of this. No, this is just building up tension for for the loop that you're gonna get. It, it there's no other reason for them to make you go through all this. Surely. What are we gonna fight? Is that a giant memory cube? I'm not like touching it. Whoa! Hey, Ellie, what's up? This is Billy, the animal relic. Who is it? Who's calling me? I don't know. I don't know. What should I do? You were waiting for me. Billy. It's got an eye on it. Oh snap, was that the red Moswell? Did you see that? It looked like my gear. Maybe something has happened to your gear. Let's head for the exit and see if any changes taking place. So sweet, looks like we got an upgraded gear for Billy. Ah, fuck. How, how are you guys doing? You girls again. Elements! I see you've gained a new gear that has been aligned with an animal relic. You know that we should have been the ones to have it. We need stronger powers in order for Commander Ramses to re realize his long-cherished desires. Yes! For the building of our ideal country, we can't allow you to take it. So, come on, let us have it. I have to go pro progressively higher, I think, with these girls. You knew what Solaris was doing to the surface dwellers, and you know what the situation is like now on the Earth, and yet you, what the gazelle do, or whatever happens to the lambs, are not my concerns. Each of us have our own obligations to fulfill. We don't have time to deal with affairs concerning you weak and inferior people. Dominia, do you truly believe that? Yes, look at yourselves. For instance, you, the strong and the superior, were the first to preserve yourselves without any mutations. Is that not right? Power and ability have nothing to do with it. It was pure coincidence that we didn't mutate. People are people, nothing more or less. I admit that they are, there are the weak and powerless, but that's no reason for us to forsake them. We are all the same human beings. So, you wish to give a hand to those who would be saved? You're so nice and kind. How commendable. But, is that really what's best for mankind? You were all surfaced once surface dwellers. Weren't you all forced to live under the impression of Solar oh impression of Sol Solaris even? I know that you know how it feels to be a have not, so why do you people must be able to stand on their own in any circumstances they are in? Overprotection only stunts the will to be independent. This stunts the growth of the people in the world. We've experienced that firsthand. Live by one's own strength. Stand on one's own feet. It's sad but true that the weak will be weeded out. But we cannot look back. That is the providence of human existence. That is just the providence of those who are the haves. Huh. So be it then. Show me this providence of yours that wishes to save the meager have-nots. Here I come! And it's boss time! It's three on four. What kind of bullshit is this? Okay, uh, I'm almost full health actually. That's not bad. Uh, let's see. I should probably go for. Yeah, let's go for Talon first. 
gonna just try to go for my most powerful ones. Uh, ah, crap. She's weak to Earth, now that I think about it. The elements all have weaknesses. So it'd be well... to serve you well if you remembered that, which I just did not, and as, as a result I healed her. Dominia comes in. She summons a sword! And slices! Yeah, once again we're going for Talon. Um, we're gonna go for Dark Beast. Which I don't think has an element on it. Uh, Satan's the only one in my party that does elemental things, I believe. So he is going to be very key to my victory here. There we go, 1,000 damage. Alright, so weak to Earth. Earth is... There we go. All the, all the elements are, are the same no matter what character you're on, so it's triangle, triangle, square, X for Earth. Unless they don't have 